So I'm Margaret Levy, Director of the Center for Advanced Study in Behavioral Sciences, CASBIS, and Professor of Political Science at Stanford University. And my lifelong research has been on the relationship between citizens and government. So a lot of people seem extraordinarily concerned about the kind of mudslinging that's going on among the candidates for various offices, including the presidency. But if you look at the history of the United States, the Lincoln election was a mess. The Andrew Jackson election was a mess. Um, I just watched John Adams. It's a mess. I mean, this is, <laughs> people have been slinging mud at each other with the birth of democracy, right? The, they're brawls in the early days of democracy and into the 20th century at polling places um, over candidates, over parties, over all of that. So this is not new. It's like coming back to where we were after this extraordinary period where things were relatively calm. Okay, so what really concerns me is not so much the mudslinging among the candidates or against the candidates, but the fact that we're seeing potentially a real crisis in democracy. And that's coming from two sources. One is the appeal to authoritarianism or the emergence of an authoritarian sort of spirit among some of the, too much of the public, frankly. And the second really has to do with what constitutes credibility of facts and evidence. The problem with credibility of information has multiple sources. One, we've always had media that has made up facts. Always. Go back to the Hearst papers of a particular era. Um, Two, we're coming out of a long period of relative civility, consolidation of journalism, consolidation of ethics about what is appropriate journalistically, to a period with multiple voices, possibilities of echo chambers. Um, that's the bad side of it. The good side of it, it, we also have additional sources of information. We can learn about things. We didn't know about before, that opinions can be expressed that weren't expressed before. So it's a period of disruption and turmoil that hasn't yet been reconsolidated. The third thing I think is psychological, and we know some things about this and some things we don't know. We know that people have different values, and we know that they often interpret facts and evidence through those values. What we don't know is how to intervene in that process when they're interpreting them in a way which disrupts the fact itself. So what we want to do is get people to agree on the facts and disagree about their perspectives, their values, the things we should be arguing about, not about the fact. 